so you've worked with Kanye, John Legend, Macy Gray, and so many others. Um, what is it like working with other people that have been in the music industry for so long? I have had a beautiful experience. It's been like a really beautiful journey. Um, I don't have like horror stories or anything like that. Every artist that I've worked with, like they really like embraced me and made me like family during our tenure of working together. It's always been like really good energy, really good vibes. Um, especially like, of course, with Macy, she let me like kind of shadow her in a way, you know, like when she would sign autographs, she would take me to sign autographs. Now I haven't worked with an artist that's been that, you know, uh, generous or that open to teaching. Um, but I, she was also my first artist and I worked with her the longest, so it's kind of like that. That was a different thing. So um, it's been really helpful just to see other people doing it, seeing how they run their businesses, they run their camps. I really, I'm a visual learner, so I learn by seeing. So I, I've been really um, fortunate to be able to see the best of the best and how they shake and move. So I, I, I'm, I'm grateful. What is a secret to confidence that you feel most people don't know? Hmm. Uh, see, this is a good question, Happy. A secret to confidence that most don't know. A secret to confidence is everyone is insecure. So once you really um, stop trying to make yourself be perfect and just embrace your insecurities, I feel like that's a secret to confidence. So what are your favorite things to write songs about? Hmm, my favorite things are real life experiences. Like everything that you hear is something that I either I've went through personally or I've watched one of my friends go through it. Um, I really feel like I'm able to connect because it's real. That's why I don't take songs from other writers that are already written because I'm like, how am I going to be able to emote this? Well, during COVID quarantine, you started your completely genius event live at the studio mm -hmm. um, where you literally performed on a set outside of your studio mm -hmm. um, and you started with 15 people in the audience and within a year and a half, there were 350 people in the audience. Yes. So what made you think of producing this event? And did you ever think that it would be as successful as it's been? Um, no, I, I honestly had no expectations for it. I definitely didn't think that it would turn into like a thing where like people would come out. Initially, I was inspired by seeing D-Nice, the, the DJ. I saw how he was going viral from DJing. And uh, my producer Stanley was like, "Yo, you need to, you need, we need to have you singing every week. Like we, we need to." I knew I was about to drop yellow, and I knew the world was shutting down. So I'm like, "How do I still promote my music even though the world is shutting down?" And um, we went the first time. We just went live in the studio with he and I, and like tracks. Like I was in the booth. And it just You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up Hop in my car in the giddy up, up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up